All right, good morning, everybody. You guys are doing good? Yes, everybody's doing good? It's a beautiful day outside, right? Uh, my name is Jairo Garcia. I am professor with the School of City and Region and Planning. But before joining Georgia Tech, I was with the city of Atlanta. I was the director of climate policies. And, um, and then in the city of Atlanta, I was working closely with, with Georgia Tech. Um, so when we switched majors, and the new major didn't, didn't care much about your, uh, climate change, uh, I received a call from Georgia Tech, which I have uh, good friends that we were used to work. So thank you, uh, Michael and um, um, uh, Gulsa with the School of City Regional Planning, and um, uh, Subro, the uh, ex-director of the School of City Regional Planning, for giving me the opportunity to be here. Because if they are not doing anything in the city, what about if we do it here from Georgia Tech? And this is what exactly we are doing since I joined Georgia Tech. We're going to address climate change issues in nobody else do it. Because if it's not us, who, right? Somebody has to do it, right? So that's exactly what I accepted the position here, to try to not only teach classes and develop classes about uh, sustainability and climate change, but also to address issues that are happening in our communities. Uh, probably you guys remember last year, uh, we have a huge um, flood here in Atlanta. And then even affected Georgia Tech, the problem is we don't have a lot of memory, um, affected Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech was paralyzed for a few days. We didn't have electricity. Some buildings were shut down, including the amazing Candida building. The, our director is here. Thank you for being here. Um, because the flood, but in the south of Atlanta, the people that are always the ones affected by climate change were extremely affected. I have a picture of a person from one of the SBCUs, a student there, basically laid down in the top of the car that is flooding in water crying because it's losing, uh, her car is, is lost because of that. So in, in the impact was enormous. So eventually climate change is gonna affect us all. Doesn't matter if we are you know, rich, poor, black, or white, etc. It's gonna affect us all. So um, that's what I, I joined Georgia Tech to work in climate issues. So besides my classes in sustainable urban development and climate policies and environmental policies and many others, I used to do a practicum about solving social problems that are happening in Atlanta because of climate change. So that's gonna be the topic of today that is also involved, of course, uh, Georgia Tech. Um, in this practicum that it was part of the uh, um, Sustainable Cities Minor, uh, if you guys are interested, um, we, we're gonna give some talks outside with the School of Public Policy about the minor in sustainable cities. Uh, with the students, undergraduate students, they did an amazing job in order to um, work with the communities in Georgia to address the issue of climate change. And then, because we have great resources here at Georgia Tech, I was very lucky to work with this organization um, that right now is called the Center for Sustainable Communities, it used to be called SLS, Serve, Less, Sustain. And then uh, they were able to connect us with the communities um, here in Georgia. Uh, and then I learned so much from them. I learned so much from them. I, and I learned this, um, uh, this uh, um, uh, theoretical framework that is called the ABCD. It's not difficult to or forget about that. As a base community development, uh, in which basically the communities know the best because they are being affected and they have resources, they have assets that we can leverage. And that is the best way to address uh, climate change. So I learned that here at Georgia Tech thanks to the participation with the um, SLS Institute. Uh, and then, so we start to work with those communities and we have that connection with those communities and we learn from those communities and we work with those communities. And obviously we ha have to look at uh, the scientific reports. So we start to look at the uh, national climate assessment, how is affecting climate change those communities and how we leverage their assets to, to, to solve the problems. So the solutions that we present in are not Georgia case student solutions, are the solutions from the community improved by the acknowledge of our multidisciplinary team of students that are taking the sustainable cities minor. Uh, so last year, um, based on that experience, I had the uh, privilege to teach the graduate um, a capstone for the um, sustainable, uh, for the uh, planning, urban planning, the master in urban planning. And then um, the uh, um, sustainability office from Georgia Tech approached us uh, Jennifer Chirico approached us, and, and she asked us if we can do a vulnerability assessment for Georgia Tech based on the experience that we have working with the city of Savannah, working with uh, Cobb County, Clayton County, um, uh, DeKalb County, 
all those uh, so, uh, climate vulnerability assessments that we perform in with, with the students. And uh, we accept the challenge. So we decided to do a climate vulnerability assessment for Georgia Tech. So in order to do that, obviously, we recur at the uh, National Climate Assessment. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. The signs are there. And look at what are the aspects that are, uh, can affect the southeast of the United States. Um, so the National Climate Assessment uh, indicated that um, here in Atlanta, uh, we, have, we can have issues of air quality, extreme heat and droughts, floods, high winds, and airborne diseases. So the next steps, now that we know the risk, we look at, at the IPCC, what it tells us about how the communities can be vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. And then they indicate us that we have to look at that, our infrastructure. So we look at uh, eight areas uh, here at Georgia Tech of infrastructure that includes utilities, of course, you know, um, water, electricity, et cetera, buildings, transportation, health, physical and mental, safety, food systems, emergency response systems, and communities, because everything that affects the communities around Georgia Tech also affects Georgia Tech. So we work uh, with, again, we look at the impacts of climate change, then we look at uh, what can be affected by those impacts, and then uh, we classify how those um, infrastructures or operational aspects of Georgia Tech can be impacted by, by, the, by climate change, and then we classify between high impact, medium impact, and low impact. The other aspect that we consider in our analysis was about the aspect of equity. Uh, obviously, we have a huge discrepancy, economic discrepancy here in Atlanta, but also in our uh, student body. Uh, even, you know, um, uh, uh, faculty and administrators at Georgia Tech um, can be affected because they had to live somewhere else because they cannot afford to live inside the city. So they had to commute. So how they can be impacted. So we look at uh, the equity aspect, and of course, obviously, we had to look at uh, the SDGs, right? Uh, because the SDGs are very comprehensive, so we look at how uh, uh, leveraging uh, the SDGs that we can provide the solutions that we need to uh, for the vulnerabilities here at Georgia Tech. Uh, then the, the most important tool that we use is, is called the GIS, uh, Geographical Information Systems, in order to do a spatial analysis of where are the most vulnerable areas um, here at Georgia Tech, and we identify several areas. Like for instance. We know that the air quality is kind of even proven. You know, it used to be F, and F is for failure. Some people say, you know, F is for failure. Uh, if you have an F, you might fail, right? We used to be F here in Atlanta, uh, but now we are a D. Congratulations, we are in D. Uh, but it's still D, we are failing, right? A D, you know, in your grades, is a D. Um, so we are improving the quality from F, jump to D. Uh, so it's, oh, the air quality is doing good, but no, it's getting, it's getting worse. The fires in Canada affected the air quality here in Atlanta, and if you suffer from, uh, uh, from asthma or some kind of respiratory diseases, you're gonna be affected. But this is, get this, we are surrounded by trees here in Atlanta. This state, the timber industry is enormous. And then we have wildfires here that supposedly has to be in control, that, that's, that's the claim, but we don't know what's gonna happen. Right now, we are in winter, and they have wildfires in British Columbia. So we look at, at air quality is being affected, uh, and then we had uh, some solutions for that. We look at the floods, of course, I mentioned about floods. Uh, we look at, at uh, the droughts, how droughts can affect the quality of the water, or if, even imagine if you know, we don't have uh, water here in Atlanta, how are we gonna stay here in, in Georgia Tech, right? So we have uh, droughts and then inten intensive flows, I mentioned that, winds, uh, hurricanes are moving east. Uh, tornadoes, I'm sorry, tornadoes are moving east. So you see that it's affecting right now Alabama. Eventually it's gonna start to hit uh, um, Georgia Tech. So based on that, we make some recommendations. We work very closely uh, with the Office of Sustainability. Here um, is the poster. We have all information that you guys need to, all the data, recommendations, et cetera, in order to make Georgia Tech um, um, ready for the impacts of climate change. That's gonna be the next step, develop the, uh, the, um, um, the climate resilience plan that hopefully we're gonna complete this year. So thank you for your attention. Thank you. Welcome.